Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Erica Thomas. Today was the deadline for applicants interested in being the CEO of the Youngstown City Schools. It's a position created the so-called so Youngstown plan to fix the district. But the new Academic Distress Commission this evening voted to extend the deadline to next Tuesday, May 17th, before which the commission heard from the public on what it wants. The qualifications of the CEO is our top story at 10. All 125 people at this evening's Youngstown Academic Distress Commission meeting were given the chance to participate by way of turning technology's response cards. Questions were asked about the characteristics they'd like to see in the school system's CEO. Let's move on to whether or not you feel you understand the role of the CEO. Among the responses to some of the questions, 57% said they were employees of the Youngstown school system. 69% said they did not understand the role of the CEO. 57% thought the CEO should come from a Mahoning Valley community. And 72% thought the CEO should come from or have lived in an urban community. One person asked, where's the no CEO button? A theme that continued into the public comments. That the Academic Distress Commission and the CEO process constitutes an unscrupulous and illegal takeover of the Youngstown City Schools. Peggy Palma asked that the new CEO not come from a charter or private school. Because my assumption would then be that his job is to hand over the buildings and the materials that we paid for to a private for profit organization. Joseph Napier Sr. was happy with what he heard so far. Change is good. Change has finally come to the Youngstown City School District, and I applaud the process. School Board President Brenda Kimball sat in the front row and listened. Afterwards, she said she liked asking for public input, but really wants to know the person who's picked. Many times we go through processes like this, and then we're very disappointed. And this is about our students, and we have to have somebody in here who's really dedicated to saving our students and public education. Well, if you didn't make it to this evening's meeting and would like to participate in the survey, you can access it on the Youngstown City Schools website. We've attached a link to our story about the meeting, which you can view at WKBN.com.